Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Been doing this analysis on a very routine basis. Uh, you know, in fact, did it yesterday, so that's where the green and then the orange tread line is coming from. And that's mainly what I focus want to focus on now is that orange tread line. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete these lines out so that we don't have clutter all over the place. Um, and focus on this just because, and I realize this means a little bit more to those of you that have watched the past videos, but I've talked about how the bulls have over time been creeping upwards very nicely, building a nice overall uptrend. However, now that uptrend is threatened uh, in terms of being destroyed. In fact, right now you could argue that it's already been destroyed because the price is, has closed down below that orange line. But I would argue, you know, support resistance levels are not exact specific prices. So there is a range element associated with it. And I would still argue that the price is still within the range of this tread line. But definitely going forward, it, it becomes a question of, you know, is the price gonna get any sort of further separation to the downside from that orange line? Because if the price does continue to separate, then that's just putting it further and further down below that tread line. And not to insult your intelligence, but that is no longer an uptrend, right? If the price has broken the uptrend line and then continues to separate to the downside of it. So to me, that's a very important level. And like I said, the, the key dynamic really going into uh, not only tomorrow, and but then early next week, because if the price continues to separate to the downside, that is essentially putting the price right back to where it started and prices going back to where they were, not a sign of true strength at all. So yeah, today was very rough. Uh, it is what you know, you'd know essentially call a, a gap and trap. I mean, where the price made a nice move up and then all of a sudden uh, collapsed the remainder of the day. Now it's just making sure that this collapse doesn't spin out of control. How am I defining? spin out of control. Again, it all circles back to that tread line there. Any sort of continued separation of the downside would be at my point in, in, in the sense of, all right, yeah, things have spun out of control. So we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, definitely don't want to see the price make any further progress to the downside from that orange line. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.